Alyssa uh, was like, hey, I want to talk to you about something. I want to tell you something. Promise you won't get mad. And I was like, just stop right there. First of all, never going to make a promise like that because I might get mad. <laughs> and second of all, let's just have the conversation on the show. And you were like, I'm not so sure you want to do that. I think it'll be helpful for other people people to listen to because I know the difference in our relationship versus the mass majority and the reaction most people would get, I feel like, and it can create toxicity. And I feel like you're going to have your own opinions. And that's what I'm also here to listen to is also hear you out and hear your opinions. But I feel like you're going to have a healthier um, reaction than most parents might. And it could be helpful for other people to listen to. Including parents. She's right there, right now, state. right there. He's just what, what she's saying. She's like, "Oh, what are you gonna say? What just, is it? Just get to your bullshit." <clears throat> For other people to listen to, including parents. Are you moving out of state? Oh God, get to your offensive statement. It's not offensive. <laughs> <laughs> That's you. Yeah, that it. Just get to your bullshit. <laughs> Just do it. Yeah, just do Nike. it. Nike. Nike. Just come on. That's when your kid starts rambling before they just came home late at night. It's like, what, what happened? did you do? Well, it's, you know, like, okay, don't be. You need okay, to promise mom, you won't get mad. Like, okay, so what happened? I okay, promise you. Listen, Shit. mom. What do you want to say? <laughs> well, listen, okay, so, you know my friend Mikey? And you staring like, your yeah. Mikey's a piece of shit. And you already warned this motherfucker not to hang out with Mikey done 10 times. Why are you with Mikey? Wait, hold on, hold on. No. I was not with Mikey. And mom said I could go out. But Mikey was there. And there was drugs. Oh. You're guilty? <laughs> Eat it on the chips. Just, just f me up first. We're going to get that out of the way. And then after that, we could talk. Get the anger out. Yeah. Yeah, you know yeah. what? A lot of my conversation with my parents would have worked out a lot more better if I would be like, you know, f me up. Because <laughs> I used to have to hear a whole last talk. Yeah. Oh, but shit. you already know it's coming at the end. It's like, listen, you're going to beat my ass. Yeah. F me up. Yeah. We'll talk after. So I've kind of joked about it before starting an OnlyFans, but. It's it's also not what you think either. <laughs> yes. I would be taking a more model route um, in that way. We obviously have a little bit of a presence together, so I want to get your opinions and thoughts, and I also want to tell you, but I also feel like I have assets that I could capitalize on. And assets. <laughs> that's a wild way to talk to your parents about your body. I don't care what nobody says. There's no place. I don't care how progressive you are talking about like, you know, what the thing is my assets to your parents is weird, you know, and I know a lot of you viewers already agree with me. <laughs> yeah. Before you agree with me, a lot of y'all also come from weird backgrounds. We're talking about anything sexual is always taboo. Mm -hmm. And that's also really fucking weird. Because a lot of y'all be out here in these streets doing a bunch of dirty business. And you can never. I don't, I come from the same background. You can never mention anything. But this end of the spectrum is also really weird to me. Where it's like, you can talk about anything. I'm a businesswoman. You taught me to be a businesswoman. Um, and I have my boundaries as well as my own adult. There are a lot of things that I won't do. But there's also, you know... Some modeling I would love to do anyway. So, there's that. You know, I love you. I respect you. I, ra I wish I had sons. <laughs> <laughs> Raised you to be independent, to be, like you said, to be business-minded, to be logical. And I guess the biggest thing is you being safe. Like... Having a daughter already, knowing that you're highly likely to be mm -hmm. assaulted or or hit or groped or something like that, that's mm -hmm. already on on a, a a father's mind when he has a girl. Mm -hmm. So there's that protection part of me that's like, I don't want you to be opened up to even more people stalking or chasing you or doing stuff because, bro, you should have thought of that before you put it on your podcast. You thought that should have thought of that before she had a TikTok with millions of followers. Say whatever you want about X work, want them to go against it, that's fine. 
but your kids are never gonna experience as much unwanted attention from weirdos as when they're on social media and they're popular. I've never had so much unwanted attention from weirdos as right now. Yes. She's like well known on TikTok or like she has a pretty large following. Like it, that world has already opened up to her. There's a lot of reasons to not want your kids to do X work, but it seems kind of odd to say this when you made your kid a little celebrity mini, whatever it is, you know? That's what I'm saying. Well, I'm like, I have bail money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I'm willing to straight up go to prison. I know. That's already a, a problem that we have to deal with. And then on top of that, you being like, oh, here's a booby. Now, a booby. Uh, just a booby. <laughs> a lot of what I'm feeling is like protection. I don't want you to do something that's going to make something harder on you later in life. Like at, when I was 19, I had... I thought I was going to be one thing and my life completely went in a different direction. What if when you're 37, you decide to run for president or run for some kind of office or you want to be taken seriously as an actor in some major or you want to be an outspoken, you know, uh, activist in a certain thing. And this comes back to haunt you. Maybe society will grow up and that kind of stuff won't affect you negatively. But I'm concerned with your safety. I'm concerned with your future. And I don't want you to do anything that's going to harm future you. My fear is that you would do something now, get money now. And then when you're in your 40s, you look back on it and go, man, I really had an opportunity to do something bigger with my life. And because that, that stuff exists on the internet, now I'm prohibited or restricted in some other aspect of my life. I, I raise you to respect yourself mm -hmm. and to be safe mm -hmm. and I mean you're a grown woman you're gonna do what you're gonna do doesn't feel great <laughs> but <laughs> I, I, I love you and I respect you and if that's what you want to do then I mean I support you in whatever you want to do I just mm -hmm. really want you to be careful mm -hmm. with, well, that's with why everything I have that I just said not only yeah. your safety but yeah. your future opportunities like you know, if you're going to do something like that, to do it in a way that's classy and respectful of who you are and not not ruining future opportunities. Yeah. And that's where like. Go ahead. <clears throat> um, Dad, I respect the way you're talking to your daughter and the way you're able to have a conversation with that shit. Right. Um, hmm. But I think it's all fun and games until one of your friends fall on the OnlyFans of your girl. And then it's like, yo, buddy, buddy, bud, bud, I think I saw your daughter out there. She looking mad good. What? One of your buddies sees your girl, your daughter on OnlyFans. And reports it to you, you might feel different. You might be like, yo, watch what watch what you say. Hey, 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 watch what you say. You can't say that to everybody. All right? A lot of people are gonna think that. It's your it's your boys, it's your friends, it's your homies. They're gonna fall on that. You don't understand what I'm saying? Oh, okay, so you're like, oh, you, you have a daughter. She has an OnlyFans. Uh -huh. And I'm like, yo, Abba. <laughs> I think I saw your daughter on that. If you said it like that, we'd have a problem. And I'm okay with us having a problem because that means you shouldn't be in my life. I understand what you're any, saying. Any friend who would talk about your daughter that way, you respect that whatever the fuck she's doing mm -hmm. is weird and probably not somebody you want mm -hmm. as a friend, personally. I understand. So at that point, I wouldn't even be thinking about my daughter that deeply. I'd be like, yo, who the fuck is this guy? Because mm -hmm. you should never be thinking some weird shit like that. And if you even did, you better keep that shit in your fucking head and then make sure you never act on it. That's me personally. Mm -hmm. I don't care what my daughter's doing. I don't care what her job is. There should never be a time you're talking to me like that. Mm -hmm. That's me. Now, the whole shame associated with people around you finding out, that's very real. And a lot of parents are probably going to feel that. And that's facts. And there's no way around it. There's no way around it. I think the way he's talking to her is the thing that makes the most amount of sense if you want to be involved in your child's life. Listen, you could disagree with your kid. You can be so against what your kid's doing that you may have to push them away. But acknowledge that at the end of the day, they're adults. They're no longer just a child, right? They may be your child, but they're not a child. But it's gonna for, she's forever going to be my baby. She's going to be your baby, but at one point in your life, she's probably going to wipe your ass. Is that really your baby? 
She is. So, so she, but... you went from wiping the, the, to. It changes. The relationship changes. She's not a kid. No, I have no problem. Under a certain age, you got to talk to them a certain type of way. You got to give them orders. Okay. Mm-hmm. Understand at some point, you're going to have to start changing the tools with which you parent with. You can't use physical discipline or orders or rules the same way you could as when they're a child as when they've grown into adulthood. And your approach to it has to change. And I think he's taking the most reasonable approach. Whilst, so basically making his feelings clear. Whilst also saying, I still want you in my life. This isn't enough for me to say you got to go. Mm-hmm. Some parents got that. For example, I know some parents, if you leave the religion, you've left their life. Yep. I know some parents, if you've embarrassed them, you've left their life. Everyone got a different threshold. Him, it's clearly not met that. For some of you watching, that might be too much. A kid doing some, some adult stuff, they can't come home for Thanksgiving or Christmas or whatever it is. Me personally, I think I identify with this man much more than I think a lot of my viewers mm-hmm. because... To be honest with you, I feel more progressive than a lot of y'all. And it's not throw shade at nobody. I just couldn't see myself throwing away my child or pushing them out of my life because they did X work. I would disapprove of it strongly. I'd be very much against it, but I would never push them away where they no longer felt like they had a home under my roof. Right? <clears throat> I feel like there's also a culture of wanting to school everybody. There's that culture of people wanting that to happen, especially on social media. Yeah. And sometimes this course is just like, yeah, I'm talking to you. Let me. I, I can disagree with you without yelling at you. I can disagree with you without being mad and stuff like that. We can just both disagree and be like, you know what? Yeah. I disagree on that point. I don't agree with it. I don't have to scream at you. It's it's so common for people to scream and yell and be like, yeah, we disagree and be in a battle when we disagree. D- disagreeing with someone doesn't necessarily equate to that. I think the disagreements sometimes don't even make sense to me because these guys are all operating in the comment section based off of logic. It's like you have a distance from the issue so you can afford to be like that. Yep. When it's your niece, when it's your daughter, your son, it's a much difficult diff conversation. And like, yeah, we say facts over feelings, blah, blah. But if you think about it, family is all about feelings. Family is all about emotional attachment. So you can't rid yourself of that conversation. I know this because like, it was not a daughter, but I have my niece who's here three times a week. Do I think I could distance myself from somebody I'm that close with? I, I've loved, I've literally watched when they're a little person to when they're grown and throw them out of my life because I don't agree with their adult decisions. I don't think I can. I'm going to be honest with y'all. You know, if they were like diddling kids or doing something that like they're harming other people, that's a different conversation entirely. If they're just doing work I strongly disapprove of, mm-hmm. that's not enough for me to disown these kinds of people. Mm-hmm. That's me. Um, Even if they're arming themselves or people around I can't. I can't go with that. I can't. Oh. I can't. Like it's like. Mm-mm. I don't the, know. So I, I. I can distance myself from people that entertain certain relationship that I cannot. I can't. No, you. You're dealing with that kind of people. I can't. I can't. No, I can't even be seen with you. I can't chill. I can't. We can't. We can't be. We can't be. So you have a different threshold than me. Seems like you, even if they're engaging in really strong criminal activity that's harming other people, you're not necessarily willing to push them out of your life. I'm willing to. Oh, you're willing to. Your your, your kids. Oh. Not my kids, even my friends. I got some. Forget friends. I'm talking about something much more intimate. Mm. That's a different relationship. The thing is, 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 even like sometimes I can understand, like with the work that we do and stuff like that. Would I, well, so, so clarify, hold well, on, well, I, hold on. Clarify the question, it, what it, the question is. It, it, it doesn't would really, I, would I distance myself? It doesn't even matter. My whole point is everyone got different lines. I understand. You may have what, a different line. What is the question? If they're harming other people. Yeah, I can. Okay, means it depends on what kind of harm. Yes. If they saw somebody, it's very different than when they did a kids. Sure. All this to say, some people ex sure. work. I know some parents. If their kids doing that kind of work, they're like, get out of my life. I'm not one of them people. Me partially. Okay, and I say this also for me. I also don't think I mean, this is a subjective thing, but for me, I, I think. When I've had periods of my life where I didn't have my parent around, especially when I was a young adult in my 18, right? And I'm joining the military. My mom doesn't want to talk to me anymore because she doesn't approve of what I'm doing. Mm. And also, to my mom's credit, historical context, at the time, 9-11 had happened recently. A lot of people were going overseas for deployments. Muslims felt some type of way. My mom being a Muslim, she felt a lot of type of ways about her son joining the military to do that stuff. I understood her perspective. I just felt like as an adult, I needed to find my way in life. I need to get some sense of discipline. And this is the environment that I was going to find it in. We stopped talking. It was a difficult period. When you don't have the support system of your parents, you don't have that emotional support, people backing you. Like, I remember 
doing most of my, and I had nobody to call. Every time things would get difficult, I would watch my platoon mates go on collect calls to call their families from the payphones and stuff, and I had nobody to call, right? That period was a very difficult one for me, and it made our chasm really difficult. Even when we did start talking, it was awkward for years. And now we're at a point where it's different because she's no longer trying to order me. She's no longer trying to tell me what to do because she's finally acknowledged, oh, my child is no longer a child. They've grown into their own person as adults. Mm -hmm. You gotta talk to people differently. And my, some people are like, yo, you can never talk about your parent that way. Uh, yes, you can. You know what? My mom is my mom. I love her to death. She doesn't know everything. She doesn't always know better. Sometimes I have to slap the credit card out of her hand because she doesn't know what, how bad she's making financial decisions. And I have to do that for her well-being. Sometimes I have to push her into a car and drive her somewhere because she needs to go to a medical appointment for her eyes because she's too irresponsible to realize that it's not good to not go to the doctor. You're getting blind, stupid! I remember that shit. You know, I love my mom. My mom is my mom, but she don't always know better. I remember that shit. Oh, that was from the heart. And I say that because that was from it's the like, heart. oh, this vision I had of you, like, oh, it's, it's nonsense. You're flawed like everybody else. And it's okay for me to talk about that with reverence and respect, but also with a directness that shows my love for you. Yay. And I say this to say, your relationship changes. So the way you approach the dynamic changes, the way you communicate to your parent changes, but also the way the parent communicates to you changes. That's, net, that's life, that's life. You might have a subordinate at work. When they get promoted to manager, you can't talk to them like they're subordinate. No, they're your peers now. It's a different relationship. They're your peers. So, I respect the way he approaches it, even if a lot of people are going to mock him or whatever they're going to say. He's going to be much more apt to protect his daughter from any negative things that happen going forward than a lot of people who are completely removed from her life. In fact, he's much more likely to prevent it because she got that emotional support system. Mm -hmm. She doesn't feel like she's isolated from people. So, and in she, my opinion, I like this, but I'm okay with also saying I understand where other people are coming from mm -hmm. when it comes to the clash of their value system. And, and also, I, I get, like, she can more think about it and not do thing out of spite mm -hmm. just to be like oh yeah because people have a tendency to do that yeah whenever they don't get the support that they're supposed to get or the support that they need yeah. they're gonna be like ah oh, yeah word it's no longer about what they want to do it's it's now it turned into it switches into i'm gonna do it because you don't want me to do it even further than that it's not even necessarily because of spite, because the people who are supporting them are the people who already live in that lifestyle. Yeah. So all of a sudden you go to the strip club, but everybody else around there is also supportive to you and they're very kind yeah. to you. So you're like, what I'm not getting at home, I'm getting I'm from getting these people. Gang, gangs, ex work, whatever we're not. Name You'll it, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the same thing. But again, I also say this knowing I understand why people make the different decisions. Mm -hmm. so. Where like I have my boundaries. I don't own you, I don't control you, you're not mine, but I care so deeply about you. Like there's not another single human on this planet that I care to protect more than you. Mm -hmm. And so that's, it's just a safety thing. I appreciate you telling me Yeah. and us talking about it. I'm glad we're close enough to have this conversation. I'd rather you know than... It's not, it's not up to me. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? You don't need my approval or blessing. I mean... You know, I trust you to handle yourself. Like, my job as your parent is to teach you how to live without me. That's a bar. That's a bar. Hey, say what you want about him, but he not lying. Now, some people might say he failed. That's up for debate. In my opinion, if he really had that mindset, that's beautiful. I think a lot of parents think they're supposed to be parents and guide forever. Mm. They think they're supposed to make decisions for you forever. Mm -hmm. I see kids in their 30s and their parents still deciding everything. Yep. I respect this. Italians. But what? Different cultures, different perspectives. Sounds morbid and screwed up, but I don't want to be on my deathbed in my 90s and having you being like, Dad, don't leave. I don't know how to do taxes. I, I'm like... I want you to be like, I got this. Let go. You're fine. I want to peacefully, you know pass into my death knowing that you're going to be fine. Mm -hmm. So I've given you those tools up to this point for you to just handle your business. It's funny because I realized that one of my mom's pride is not even my success. One of my parents' pride is not one of my, it's not even my success. One of my mom's pride is the fact that my sister and I are cool. Mm -hmm. So that if she goes, mm -hmm. we got each other. 
So, and that's very important that we're able to handle each other even beyond her being there. Mm-hmm. So it, I think it's something that you realize. And I think the, that goal changed with time. You know, it was not always that. Yeah. You know, it was a big, have a degree, have a this, a that, a big career, big money, and everything is that. All that shit changed. Gotcha. When the perspective came in, and then she's not cool with some of her siblings. And then she sees, and she's like, nah. When she sees me and my sister, she's my happy. big homie, she's like, oh. What I tell my sister, we're, we're going to Florida. Oh, mm. uh, yeah, but, I, yo, I said, we going. I didn't say nothing about, the fuck? What? I said, we going. What the fuck is wrong with you? Okay, we going. Just pack your bags. Mm-hmm. When my my mom sees that, she's Y'all have like, a good time? Oh, yo, we cool. We Y'all chill. have a good time? We Y'all sister, have a good time? Me and my sister. New we Year's chill. was good? New Year's was good. Okay. It's like, you know, my sister's my sister. I'm me. We chill. We chill. We chilling. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's like, it's cool to have her around and stuff like that. And we don't have like a beef or whatever. whatever, yeah. whatever. I understand people that do and stuff like that. But yeah, one, that's one of my, that's one of my mom's pride. When I roll. And you guys are always together? Well, I mean, I pay for the whole shit. Like, I pay for the tickets. I pay for the car. I pay for, like, what we... But you guys came together. Yeah, but the fact... But my mom is like, okay, you got your sister's bag. Yeah, y'all, 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 y'all and, together. And this motherfucker had mine. Yeah, got you. Got you. So... That's what you're proud of. You know what I mean? So she's... Yeah, she's proud of that. The one thing that I do want to make clear is that this is because I respect myself. A, I want to just do it the fastest way possible so I have more time to do things like rescues and charities and help my family and my friends that need help. So this is really my fault because I failed to become a billionaire. <laughs> That's what it sounds like too. I understand what she's saying because in her head, she's like, there's so many things I want to do and what's the fastest way I can accumulate wealth. And the dad's thinking, think about the long-term consequences, but she's not necessarily thinking about it like that. I understand where she's coming from and should be able to choose to believe her or not, whatever it is. But from what I've seen, I could see it being true for some people. Absolutely. Before, Absolutely. Before you became yeah. an adult. If I'd been a billionaire, yeah. you'd be like, yep. there's no point. Assets that I could capitalize on. And <laughs> I talk fucked up to my parents like that sometimes. The reason why I'm gonna tell you why is because uh, my parents are very for black people. They're very open, okay. But there's still some taboos, and because I was when I was growing up, I was left out of a lot of things, a lot of discussions. Like you're always left out because it's taboo. We can speak about this, but as a child, you want to understand certain stuff, and you navigate life not knowing certain things that you should have known and you don't know them because they want to keep it from you mm-hmm. and they kind of forget about it and there's like a threshold of time that they should have told you about it and you still don't know and you act life mm-hmm. not knowing those things and when you go back for example there was a beef in my family okay okay there was a beef in my family one of my aunts she married a man and the family of that man had some beef with her. They never told us about that. So the kids were cool. All the kids of those family were cool. But the parents are not. And me, I'm walking and I'm seeing the parents at the mall. I'm like, oh, hi. And I'm walking up to them. And I'm like, oh, yeah, this and that. How you guys doing? And I feel like the parents are mad awkward. Yeah. They don't know. Like, they're like, oh, oh I'm, I'm good. They're my, like, stuck up and shit. I just walked in a situation that I didn't even know about because y'all motherfuckers have a beef. They looking at me funny and they're like, who the fuck? Why the fuck is this little motherfucker talking to me? Have the audacity mm-hmm. to talk to me. That's true. But then I didn't even know there was a beef. Okay. But when I, I asked the question, so what happened? This is just, oh, don't even worry about it. There's nothing. You didn't want to tell me about it or you want to tell me later. You forget about that. You don't tell me. And you make me walk in situations that I'm not even supposed to walk in. Because mm-hmm. I'm supposed Cause it's to. taboo. Because it's taboo. Yeah. So all the taboos, I'm like, f*** that You're shit. You're against it. I'm against that stuff. So whenever I'm talking, about, like, yeah, yeah, I will talk straight up about sex with my mom. I will talk straight up about sex. I know, you know what's so funny? You explain that whole thing. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck the taboo. I talk straight. I'm like, ew. I know. And but and, thing, and but but but, 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 I acknowledge but also it's me. I know. And also, also, you've seen my parents. 
you've seen they can't, they different. They are different. But in my head, a parent is still a parent. I understand. Because my cultural reference yes. is just my parents yes. and all the parents I saw yes. growing up. And that yes. would never fly. Like, for example, so, you know, I get what you're saying, but I'm culturally conditioned. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Like, for example, my birthday. There was a background. Like, we did a back barbecue in my, my backyard and everything and stuff. Two of our friends yeah. went there and everything and stuff. And they saw how I answer out with my peeps. Like, two of them were like, Yo, you speak like that with your mom? It's like, yeah. And at some point, at some point, I was blazing. My parents was right there. I was okay. like, dude, prototype was like, yo, yo, your mom is right. Bro, your mom is right there. My mom is right where? Yo, mom, you want some? No, not. I don't want any. She cool. She don't want any. Isn't that so crazy? <laughs> People can see you drinking with your parents, but if you smoke something that's legal over here, they lose their minds. Yeah. It's funny. It's a funny thing. It's a funny. It doesn't make sense, logically mm -hmm. speaking, but we just convince ourselves. Yeah. Day. Talissa, please be careful out there. That's why so. I have boundaries is because I don't okay. know 30-year-old me. Like, I know me, and I feel like... I'm going to still be okay with it, but I also want to make sure I have that room to change if I feel like I want to. And I love you and respect you and support you through all of it. So. Yay. Please be, uh, please be safe. Like I'm, I'm here for you. Like through the. I think we got the point. Uh, no. No. No what? No, 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 no. I mean, that's me in that conversation. That's just no, 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 no. For like a couple days of denial. And then like, come talk to me later. Let me have a few drinks. No, 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 no. And then I'm like, all right, let's talk. And then she's going to be right in front of me. I'm like, baby, I love you. I wish I had sons, but you're here. We're going to figure this out. You're my only daughter. I hope I never have more daughters. I mean, I'm joking, but I don't know. I'd be like, oh, That would God. stress me out. I feel like <sighs> there's like a bunch of things if I had children that would stress me the fuck out. My kid says they're going on deployment. I'm like, no, 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 no. Like, yes, I know you're doing it in the service of something greater, but it's just like, no. Yeah, you did it you too. Know. No, no, I didn't do deployment. That's it doesn't matter. You went in. Yeah, it was not the same. They're gonna use it against you. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it was not the same. It's not the same. You could have been. But but I get what you're saying. Um, OnlyFans, no, no, no. But if it was like push come to shove, and she's they're like, oh, we gotta figure some shit out. Uh, but that's a different conversation. Difficult conversation. I know people are gonna meme. They gonna have a laugh at him. That's cool. But like, ask yourself. Honest question. Everyone watching right now, that's your child. How would you handle it? And don't do it from the perspective of like you're observing someone else's life. Think of somebody you love very close to you engaging in this stuff. And how would you react to it? How would you keep them into your life or not? I'd be curious to hear how you guys feel in the comments. And just I want to see some, 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 some good, good responses. It's a good thing. Yeah, it's an interesting conversation. Know? But as weird as this podcast is and seeing these conversations that I think are generally private being public, I think it's good for conversation points for everyone uh, else yeah, watching. I so guess that's, that's what a podcast is now. Let us know what y'all think. All right? So get in the comments. Anything else? Let us know. 